Good morning, long time no talk. We have, I feel like been going through the thick of it with Avery and with Emerson. Emerson is getting all four of her canines right now. We already knew she just really struggles when she's getting teeth. We were, it was a hot mess. <laughs> when she got her molars as well. So we've quite literally just been surviving and I feel like we're just starting to like have some good times where one of them or both of them are not screaming. So that's why I haven't really recorded aside from like sit down videos. I, there just hasn't really been any vlogs because when we've all been together and just like doing life things, it's been pretty chaotic. <laughs> Figured I would just pick up my camera, start a vlog. We'll, we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Emmy is with my mom right now. Chris just left with Avery to go take Worth It packages. I sold some stuff on Poshmark. I really just got that like spring cleaning itch. So after my mom left with Emmy this morning, I basically started cleaning immediately. Chris and Avery got up right as they were leaving. So I fed her and then Chris hung out with her for a little bit until her first nap and I started going through stuff and got stuff listed, packaged it up already, that's getting sent out. So I'm gonna try to clean the floors because we're not gonna have any help tomorrow. Sunday's normally my cleaning day, so I'm gonna clean the floors and it's actually sunny out. I feel like I get everything clean and then it rains and Lulu just tracks everything in. <laughs> but that's fine. Our house is well lived in. That's what I'm gonna do, clean the floors and then I have to run a couple errands as well. Chris took my car though, so I guess I'll be taking his. Uh, and yeah, welcome to the video. We'll see where it goes. Avery is five weeks as of yesterday. Uh, I'll update you as the vlog goes on about all the things we're doing. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know, but long story short, we're getting her evaluated for a mouth ties on Wednesday. Um, I am currently dairy and soy free, <laughs> and I have gentle formula already sitting in the pantry, if that tells you all of the struggles we've been having. So we'll see what route we end up going, what we end up having to do, but yeah, we'll dive into that a little bit later. Are you gonna knock over my camera? I don't think so. extension ladder up in our room because one of the fire alarms uh, or the smoke detectors was beeping and of course it was like the highest one hardest one to reach and then it beeps like probably 10 to 12 times Chris got the ladder out and then as soon as he got the ladder put where it needed to be it stopped beeping <laughs> And so he's like, I'm not moving it because I know it's going to start again. So we've just had this huge ladder in our room and it just beeped again. But now it's, it was just once. So I'm like, what, what are we going to do? I don't understand what's happening. lost his wallet so I ordered groceries instead of him going um and I think I got everything we need we'll see but I have been basically living off of like taco bowls since going soy free because holy cow soy is in literally everything after we get her evaluated and like if she has to have a release which I would be shocked at this point if she doesn't have to um depending on how she is like if it's like a night and day difference um, I'm gonna try adding in dairy and soy again and see if maybe it was literally all just because of how much air she's been taking in when she eats. Obviously making her very gassy. She did have like diarrhea though, so I, I feel like she probably has some kind of intolerance. We shall see. 
Um, but if I have to stay soy free, I can do dairy free all day. That's not that bad. Soy free is literally in everything. And it's like even like simple things like trying to feed Emmy right now and not being able to taste it to like see if it's, you know, the right temperature. She's always trying to share. Like it's just, it's not, it's not fit in my lifestyle. So um, I think for the sake of my sanity, we would just move to formula. Like I said, I already have a gentle formula ready to go. Um, who knows if that one will work, but yeah, I just think she has potentially intolerances, but we, we will see. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've been living off of taco bowls because soy is in everything. I don't even feel great on this diet right now. Like it's totally different from what I would normally eat. This is similar, but everything else, like the macro breakdown is significantly different. Um, and like, I'm just getting protein sources from mainly just meat because I like, I loved yogurt. I would have parfaits all the time. I don't know, just my whole, my whole diet has changed and I don't love it, but I'm also like, obviously want her to be comfy. So anyway, we're gonna get her evaluated. I don't wanna change too many things at one time. So I've just been maintaining what I'm doing right now. And then, yeah, depending on how the evaluation goes, um, I might start adding some things in our fire alarm. Ugh, it's so inconsistent or the smoke detector, whatever. Lulu, poor thing. I need to, I need to, need to go eat outside. She gets so stressed out by the smoke detector. So yeah, long story short, we've got a lot of moving parts right now. And depending on how the dentist appointment goes with them evaluating to see if she has any ties or not that need released, um, we're just gonna go from there. But we've had a very fussy, gassy baby. And like I said, Emmy's been going through a lot. So we've had multiple, many days where it's felt like we have had a colicky baby and a colicky toddler. And I'm like, something's gotta give here. Mama's gonna lose her mind. So thankful that we have help and have like put help in place. And just once again, that we live close to family. Um, that has been super helpful. And Chris and I being able to tag team things. I need to eat this before it gets cold. And, and I can't sit and enjoy it. You ready to go on a walk? I ate. I didn't get my dessert yet. I got those little like. I'll show you when we get back because I'll have one. But we're gonna go on a walk. I got the Pura set up. I was totally sucked into an Instagram ad that was like, if you buy the scents, you get the little Pura thing for free. Got sucked into that, got that plugged in. It already smells amazing. So I think I'm gonna order some more <laughs> for the rest of the house. Okay, let me, I feel like I need a jacket. back from our walk and I forgot I had groceries getting delivered too. <laughs> no, I feel like I just talked about that. Um, I got more of these. These are the little bars I was talking about. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer, but I'm gonna snag one. These are actually pretty good. Two is a serving. So we're having two. Also, sorry if you're watching this and your dog is also freaking out because it can hear the smoke detector. <laughs> Did you feel that? The shadow also looked like it was literally right on top of our house. That's what it was. It went that way. Oh, baby. Let's eat. Oh, bless you. Feel better? Let him off. Oh, she need to wipe her hands off? I think you need to blow your nose.
Great job. I mean, what I look like, my name would be no, no, no. I'm talking about age. No, I People have a black screen each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how old they'd say you look. I feel like you look young. But I like, think about that when I'm on you are walks. Young, so when I'm on walks with look Lulu, if people think that, like I look old enough to where they're like, she owns the house, yeah, and not sure. And I'm like, hmm. No, I don't think you're still somebody's child. Okay. Told you it's really. It's coming up. I know. Be 28 on the 27th. Got nine days. Um, <laughs> my camera died and then I tried to record some on my phone. Some was successful, some was not. It's just, it's hard to record right now. Cause if I'm with her and I set up my camera, Emmy's going to go get it. And then I, I'm terrified she's going to break it. It is Monday now. Yesterday we ended up having just a family day, went to the gym with Emmy in the morning and then ran errands as a family in the afternoon. But today is Avery's little chiropractor appointment. Um, I'm going to attempt this before we go to the dentist for her on Wednesday to have her mouth checked for ties. I've had so many people say that, oh my gosh, there's a super red cardinal right there. They're back. Yeah, I've seen it double. We have so many cardinals around us. Anyway, that, that helped with her baby's latching and I know she's super tense and whatever. So we're just going to try. So we're gonna head off and do that. I need to drop off Poshmark packages and then we're gonna go to that appointment. And then we also have a lactation consultant coming over later today for um, to watch a bottle feed. So the last two we had, or she came over here to watch her nursing. And then she agreed last time, she was like, it might be beneficial to just watch her on a bottle and see if we can get that more efficient. And then maybe that will transfer over to breastfeeding. We'll see, I don't know. But all my appointments today are for little Miss Avery girl. <laughs> And then, yeah, we have another one on Wednesday. She's looking super cute. All right. I'll, be, you, I'll show you my outfit really quick because I think I look cute. Chris said I look cute. Align mini flares. My Air Forces. Hold tight long sleeve shirt from Lululemon. And then my Vitality vest. I w really should wear my Wonder Puff one because it has a hood and it's a little bit warmer, but. chiropractor appointment actually went, I mean, not that I'm surprised, went really well. Um, she's definitely very tight and tense, uh, where the lactation consultant was saying and where I already knew. I mean, it's very obvious. Her little shoulders are like always super high up and it's just so hard to get her into a good breastfeeding position, which is why bottle feeding has been better right now. But she hadn't pooped in like four, today would have been day five. And she like, just like did little pressure point things essentially on like her hips, whatever. And she pooped as soon as we got home. So I'm not saying it was just because of the chiropractor, but it absolutely helped because we had tried all of the different little things, running her legs, little belly massage. We did everything. Um, and she literally pooped as soon as we got home. She may have pooped on the way home because it was the first diaper I changed after getting home. So that's a huge win. Um, I'm going to go back there on Friday and that will be post, um, dentist appointments. So we'll see, but I am at Trader Joe's. We have our nanny today and a I got Avery down for a nap. Emmy's down for a nap. So I'm going to head into Trader Joe's and try to get more of the things that I've been liking so far that are dairy and soy free. I think I'm just doing egg free now as well because the days I had eggs, it definitely seemed to upset her and she actually, like I was having eggs, I had eggs like four mornings in a row and shortly after that she got a little like acne on her temples and like all along her like kind of collar line and since I've taken those out it's already started to clear up so I'm like oh my gosh we just have a very 
sensitive tummy on this little one. But yeah, I'm going to head in get some more of the stuff that I've been enjoying. I did have some people ask on Instagram because I've been sharing like more live updates on there, obviously, if I would do a full day of eating once I am or now that I'm like dairy and soy free. Yes, I will do that, but I've held off doing that because it's still changing so much and there's like, I don't want it to be full of things that I don't like where I'm like, oh yeah, I would not recommend this. That's not helpful. So I'm trying to find some foods that I like, meals that I like. So hopefully the video is at least like helpful, helpful for mamas going through the same thing. So yeah, I'm going to go in, get some more stuff. Hopefully I can record that full day of eating later this week. That's why I didn't stay consistent with them because it has been ever changing and I've been trying to find one foods that agree with Avery and then based off of that foods and meals that I actually enjoy because I'm living off like the same things right now. <laughs> Talking to you? Thursday. Did you have fun with her today? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, I'm so glad. Lila. Oh, Lila and Bobo. Did she Lila today? No. Oh. Phoebe, Phoebe went home to see Lila and Bubba. Did you Who? see any friends today? Oh, you did. Joey today. You did see Jovi today. Jovi today? Oh my gosh. Did you go to the library for story time? Oh, did you tell Dada you saw the chicks? Okay, do you want to get your dinner? There's pasta and chicken and broccoli.
Yeah, it is a little bit loud. Glass. <laughs> what is that? That's what we have left. What is that? It's what we have left. I don't want to hear it. Oh man. Come on, let me let me make you something else. <laughs> let me heat you up some more. You want some music? Do you know how to turn it on? Do you want to ask Google? Okay, Google. Okay. Say it loud. Okay, Google. Play super simple songs on Pandora. Oh my gosh! Is that from uh, Traders? Does it have soybean in it? Just give me chips. Cause I'm used to this. Whoa, slow down. What you want a couple chips? Here, that's a big. Oh my god, it's huge. This is my life right now. So I didn't want to listen to everyone. It has a cute dragon on it. Here you go. Hi. This is Nike's shoes. Nike's shoes. Yeah. You like her shoes? White socks. White socks. White socks. That's her shirt. You guys both have the hiccups right now? Tiny poop. <laughs> oh, almost. It says tiny human. Tiny human. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So she's yawning, man. Oh. Tiny yawning. Yeah, tiny yawning. Watch your eyes. Oh. Yes. Just look at them. Yeah. So we go. She's awake. We go. He wiggling. Is she wiggling? We go. We go toes. We go. We go. You're wiggling your toes. Oops. Couch is moving on me a little bit. Let's watch this. Ready? She likes to lay back like this. That's it. Her. You sit with her? Mommy or feel. Here's the her shoe shop. <laughs> Wait, those are just her slippers. Oh, Em, she's looking at you. No, you're Emmy. Say hi, Avery. I'm Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Yeah, that's Avery. That's Emmy. That's, that's big, big sister. You yeah. are a big sister, yeah. Look, look at you. Look at you. Eyes. Is she looking at you with her eyes? <laughs> Look at her George Costanza hair again. I know. We got growing a bunch of baldies. And your hair's getting long, girl.
for the video. I tried to record this outro yesterday and then my camera died on me and I didn't have time to wait for it to charge and get back to it. So the video is going up a little later than I hoped, but that's okay. It's like, I think a little over a week's worth of footage. I can't remember what all I said, but in summary, Avery had her lip tie release and her two cheek ties seems to be helping a little bit. We're obviously still like very fresh into it, still having to do all the stretches. So I'm hoping as we like reteach her how to eat with her adjusted mouth, hopefully it will be better. Um, it already seems to be a little bit better. And what else? Two chiropractor appointments. Those seem to be helping as well. She's still definitely very uncomfortable and I think that she has some pretty bad reflux like Emmy did. So it's the same thing, she'll be happy and then as soon as she spits up, she just starts screaming and like you can tell she's in pain. So I'm waiting to hear back from the pediatrician on, she's just gonna call in the medication essentially for us. So <laughs> Avery is turning out to be very similar to Emmy in terms of like just the uncomfortableness she there's still a lot of things that are going a lot better this time and just in general like not being a first time mom helps a lot having a lot more like calmness through everything and knowing that it's just a phase and it'll all get better eventually um but yeah she's already sleeping better um she's easier to calm down so those are all wins <laughs> and i feel like we're slowly getting to the root of the problems um I'm gonna hold off switching her to formula until we try the reflux medication and until we give her mouth a little bit more time to adjust and see if breastfeeding can get better and if the reflux medication, like maybe that was the issue the whole time and it's not so many intolerances. That would be cool if I could add in some things to my diet. Going dairy-free is honestly pretty easy soy free is just so hard and it's like with a toddler especially when i'm trying to feed emmy like not being able to eat what she eats i think i already talked about that it just makes it a lot more difficult and i feel like i'm making different meals for everybody and it's just it's not not the vibe <laughs> i feel like it's not good for my not good for me mentally i can't be as present with emmy it just takes away from things so i'm gonna hold off switching to formula until we see if maybe I don't need to be as restrictive with my diet, but if I do, we'll find a formula that works well for little Miss Avery girl, and I'll get to go back to eating a little bit more. But she is napping. I'm gonna try to get this video exported and uploaded, hopefully make a thumbnail while she's still sleeping. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. I also had my six week appointment and I got cleared, so. I already did like three upper body workouts, but I'm excited to do lower body because my breastfeeding pancake butt desperately needs to build those glutes back. If, you, if you've ever breastfed, you know what I'm talking about. It just sucks right from your back.